Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here and welcome back to Shark Week 2021. Today we are going to be looking at the Safari Thresher Shark from 2014. Now, I'm not sure what species this is meant to represent as there are three species of Thresher Shark, but my best guess is that this is meant to be the Pelagic Thresher. But anyways, Thresher Sharks are lamniform sharks so that makes them mackerel sharks so they're in the same group as great white sharks and mako sharks for example and their distinctive feature is their incredibly long tail which is used to whip and stun shoals of small fish which is its preferred prey so when it comes to uh, the distribution of the uh, assuming this is the pelagic thresher uh, it's presumed to live in the Indo-Pacific region, pretty much throughout the tropical and temperate zones around the world. And if we assume that this is the Pelagic Thresher, uh, when it comes to the head, one way that we can discern that this is not the big eye Thresher shark is that, well, uh, the, the eye is not that big. So that leaves two, the common Thresher and the Pelagic Thresher. Now going off of the other features, uh, the pelagic seems to be the one that's winning. So uh, you can see here on the underside of the head, uh, no visible teeth, which honestly I like that. Not every shark figure needs to have all of its pearly whites uh, poking out and looking fearsome as anything. Thresher sharks are actually my personal favorite kind of sharks, which is saying a lot because I love sharks. The pectoral fins are really long, but I think that is accurate as they do have quite long uh, pectoral fins. Uh, now the gills, they do have the right number, which is five, but they look a little bit tall to me. They should probably be a little bit shorter than this, but uh, it, it's honestly, it's a minor gripe. Uh, the dorsal fin is appropriately quite small and it's uh, quite tall as well. It's got this little bump at the rear end here. Uh, so that's, uh, that, that's the correct shape. The pelvic fins are considerably smaller than the pelvic, uh, the um, pectoral fins. Sorry, these are the pectoral fins. These are the pelvic fins at the back here. Um, still, <laughs> nowhere near the size of these, but they're still quite sizable pelvic fins for sharks. They're normally smaller than this in most species. Uh, I believe this is the anal fin, uh, not claspers. Although it is quite hard to tell. It's kind of ambiguously sculpted, so it's quite hard to tell. If we assume it's anal fin, uh, we could also assume that there's uh, it, it's a female as well, and this is the anal fin, or maybe this is a male and these are the claspers. I'm gonna say it's a female. And then of course we get to the dis most distinctive feature of the thresher shark, and that is this incredibly elongated tail fin. Uh, the, the, <laughs> juxtaposed by the absolutely tiny lower end of the caudal fin, and then the extremely long upper half. And what Thresher Shark does is that it will essentially whip its tail into a shoal of fish and that stuns them. And then it allows it to the shark to eat the fish. And I think that is such a novel feeding strategy. I think it's so cool. It's one of the reasons why I love Thresher Sharks. And they're also just oddly cute. And I know sharks aren't really known for being the cutest of animals, but thresher sharks are definitely an exception. Now we can see here, unfortunately on mine, on the right side of my model's uh, face, you can see there's a very unfortunate paint blemish here, which is quite annoying. And uh, there's also some paint mishaps on the gills here. A little bit sloppy, which is unfortunate, and as well as underneath the, the the uh, pectoral fins. So in terms of the size, from the tip of the nose to the tip of that really long tail, you're looking at about uh, probably 16 centimeters. And in terms of the height from the base to uh, the top of the, um, the dorsal fin there, that's pretty much exactly four centimeters. So it's, it's a good size, I'd say. So in conclusion, uh, I would say this is a really nice model. I do wish that Safari would have um, 
gone a bit more specific with what species this is. Assuming it's the uh, Pelagic Thresher, it should probably be blue and not grey, but it could be a, a weird mix of the Pelagic and Common Thresher, which is kind of a grey colour. But I don't, I don't think it really matters that much. Overall, I really like it. I love Thresher Sharks, so maybe I'm biased, but regard, I recommend picking this up if you're a shark fan. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you continue to enjoy Shark Week, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye now.